Hi, it's been a while since I made my last video and over the course of that time a lot of things have happened. I considered holding off on making another video until my time at Edinburgh Napier was over, which would have meant waiting for over a year, but instead I thought I should just make a video now going over what I've been up to. At the time of recording, my first year of studying television is about to end. I'll be moving on to my second and final year after the summer break. I'm happy to say that, so far, the course has been mostly practical with some reading thrown into the mix. I won't go over every little thing that I've been doing, so instead I'll just give the short version of what's been going on. In the first trimester, I got to work on a 10 minute documentary that was a sort of proof of concept. It's titled Grand Scran and it was shot over the course of a single day in Dundee. My role in the production was editor and I used Avid Media Composer. I don't have much to say about Avid, you mostly just use your keyboard while DaVinci and Premiere are more click and drag. I do have some regrets using it because I think the final edit could have been a lot better if I was using software that I was more familiar with. But I'm glad I got the chance to use it since it's sort of industry standard. Next was working on scripted production. This is a bit of a mess because the scripts we were all working with were scripts we had written for another module. The task was to adapt the original stories into a script that could be feasibly done. I was assigned the role of writer and script supervisor. I did most of my work during pre-production and on the days we were shooting I would just keep track of how many slates were used in specific scenes and make sure things were kept within the continuity. It was a great experience working on what felt like a professional shoot. We had a first AD, a producer, DOP, sound op, and of course, actors. While I wasn't directing, I got to spend some time speaking with each actor and going over the lines and scene beats. You might feel differently, but having actors read out your lines either as part of the audition process or on set is a nice feeling, albeit nerve-wracking. While working on some scripted stuff, we got to do some studio work on campus. Enver Napier has all this high-tech equipment both on the studio floor and in the gallery. It was fun being able to operate the equipment and just seeing a multicam program be recorded as if it were a live show. My time within the studio was spent doing a few things, just supervising the script and doing PA jobs. So this is all great, but what have I been up to during all of this? Well, I picked up some bits and pieces. I got some newer lighting equipment, an Amaran 200X LED light. It's really powerful and even on the lowest setting it can light up an entire room. It's got some nice features on the app like mimicking certain effects like siren and rave lighting, but I'm mostly just happy that it lets you change colour temperature. You can't really do that with these Sokani lights without changing gels around. I considered getting something to help soften the light, but just having a white blanket or a shirt around can achieve that just fine. Alongside this I bought a lighting stand. It's not the sturdiest thing out there. Positioning lights that are a bit heavier will require something like a C-stand, which are way more expensive. But for the price that I got it, it's not so bad and it can be used to position my other equipment. Next I got the materials and tools needed to make my own dolly. Now you can buy a dolly on Amazon for anywhere between 50 to 200 pounds, but the problem is they don't come with tracks. A dolly on its own might be okay on a smooth and flat surface, but outside you're just going to get a lot of shaking. So instead of forking out more money, I decided to just get a flat piece of wood, some skateboard wheels and corner brackets. These pipes can act as rails and are pretty long so the dolly can go far. The only downside is that transporting the pipes will be a nightmare, but to save a couple hundred pounds, I'd say it's worth it. I also bought this clapperboard. So what's the plan for next year? Honestly, I'm not 100% sure. In the final year, students will have the option of making their own short film. From what I've heard, students that choose to write a script for final projects can't direct them. Which I think makes sense, but who knows, maybe I'll get lucky. I'm in the middle of writing a script for that and a feature length script. It's possible that I'll be helping make short films over the summer with a small group of friends. It's not 100% certain it'll happen, but if it does, I'm sure it'll be fun. I don't know when my next video will be. I don't really do any of this with the intention of getting a large following. I just think it's cool that I can have something to look back on someday. 
and maybe you'll still be watching by then. Until next time, bye bye.